Okay, I'm going to do a quick run through of I think one of the most exciting new things with the latest Dragon OS Focal R22 ISO. Uh, I'm still working on finishing the Pi version and getting that out there, but Sig Digger has now introduced uh, multi client user permission based um, SDR software defined radio server. So one server instance will be running. In this case, I'm going to do it on a Pi 4 and one SDR. Um, there could be multiple SDRs on different ports and different, you know, with different profiles. But for this, for this video, I'm going to use one AirSpy, and we're going to connect to it with multiple clients that each can independently do different things uh, within the spectrum and within the permissions that they are uh, granted. So this is going to be a little fast. Uh, I've probably recorded this video at least twi <laughs> twice now, and and um, I got got tired of the wireless mouse issue and and. Um, whatnot anyways uh, got it got it plugged in wire or mouse plugged in and we'll do this uh, pretty quick like here so on this terminal window here I'm SSH'd into a, a Raspberry Pi now keep in mind this Pi is not only re remote but it's on the internal Wi-Fi uh, probably not on the greatest network uh, and it's over a VPN so we can see this is the Raspberry Pi Dragon OS build and all we need to do to set up this server, first we'll make sure uh, the AirSpy is connected, okay. And we will try to run, which I've talked about this before, SUCLI is the commands that you're going to uh, need to be interacting with to set up the headless or the SIG Digger um, SDR server. So if we look, if we were to try to start the dev serve with no configuration, it's going to give us a warning that, hey, the just anonymous user support has been depreciated and we now need to create a config file, which I should also point out, uh, SigDigger has moved to YAML files here for the configurations and it tells you right here uh, what you need to do. And so we're going to create a user's uh, file in the hidden directory in the home uh, directory there and we're going to call it like it. Uh, says and what I want to bring attention to is the new method by which we're going to set up these users so in this example uh, actually it goes all the way to the top I think but this this example here is going to be what I use and if we take a look at it you can see it's got a basically administrator or a root account that's going to have full access to do as uh, needed with the server or the interaction with the server whereas the user below and you could add many of these users is going to have uh, defaulted at deny all basically uh, with exceptions now there's a whole list of uh, exceptions I need to get and I'll put in the description when I get time but in this case this person uh, this user is going to be able to connect and open uh, an audio inspector and demod audio within the frequency and bandwidth that is available so let's see use your favorite editor this will be used to set up the server side of things and all I'll do is set a quick uh, password here on the root user the other one I'll just leave blank for now I'll save this the other thing we're going to need to do is make a profile with make profile abbreviated there for the air spy that's going to save and it, again it tells you what you need to do or where you need to tweak it I've talked about this before but I'm going to open up the sources file and I'm going to scroll down and uh, I'm going to uh, essentially apply like decimations because it's defaulted the bandwidth with the AirSpy. There's like 2.5 and 10 available. So just keep in mind you need to tweak these settings here before you start the server. I'm just going to go here and we'll just apply uh, the average or decimation. We'll cut down the sample rate and um, I think that'll be fine for right now. What you might want to do is actually put it from 10 to the 2.5 and then maybe apply decimation from there might be better than what I'm doing but it's fine for right now. We'll, sh we'll show uh, what happens um, over a slightly slower network which still this is like the most efficient bandwidth server uh, or sorry SDR server that I've seen. The most efficient uh, the, the most bandwidth efficient SDR server. 
So I'm going to focus on this port 28002, which is the Air Spy, and I'll just move this over so you can kind of see what's happening here. I've got the SIG Digger interface pulled up. I've already went into settings and GUI behavior, or at least I thought I did. We'll do it again. Uh, oh yeah, I wiped the, the uh, settings for this video, but uh, we'll enable the open GPL-based waterfall. And we'll do max blending. You can also enable the waterfall for detached inspector windows, which is yet again another new feature. Uh, extremely handy, especially if you have multiple monitors. I'll just leave the OpenGPL off for that right now. And by doing that, if you leave that off, when I detach the tabs, it will drop out of uh, OpenGPL back to basically non uh, uh, OpenGPL. So what I need to do here is we can either come over to source and set up our remote connection uh, or we can do quick connect but now thinking about it I need to get the IP address of my device here let's see go ahead and grab this this is the IP of the, the server over VPN start that back up we can go over here to Quick Connect, which is a new feature here. And we will first connect. Well, actually, we'll first connect as the, uh, let me think. All right, uh, let me see. Let me pick back up here. I had to uh, adjust something here real quick. But what we were trying to do is connect with the root user. You can see we got a connection here. And this root user has the ability to lower the FPS and FFT size for right now and we can see that this user is able to tune the frequencies uh, we'll adjust some gain here get some gain going a little higher and we can see we can move uh, the inspector window within the spectrum we can uh, open up a audio inspector which opens up on the so all the DSP in this case with SIG Digger is happening on the remote end so uh, you know the the Pi um, is a is a good powerful platform but you you know you gotta think consider how many users you, you want to connect and bandwidth and and all that so now so I can tune uh, and now what we'll do is at the same time the administrator account is connected we'll open up another SIG Digger GUI and this one will connect as the let's see we'll try and do the quick connect again take the password out and we'll connect as the anonymous user you can see we've got another good connection over here login successful you can see the user is over there and so now I've got two clients connected to the same single server and the same SDR now while the administrator is uh, tuned to whatever a frequency he wants to look at or the user wants to look at the um, non administrator uh, can tune completely independently open another audio inspector at the same time let's see So there is audio there, and I'll show you. you see, we've got another inspector open. That's probably a little much on the Pi, but uh, now I am tuning independently. So just keep multiplying that with more and more users, and you know, if you were down in the HF. Um, range or, or um, uh, you could be 
doing LSB, USB at the same time, dropping multiple audio inspectors on there. And that supports as many as the hardware and the bandwidth can uh, essentially handle on that one SDR. So I, I can't stress how, um, how I think powerful and impressive this is. Uh, hopefully I'm doing a good job of, of showing it all on this one monitor here. Well, let's do one more thing. Let's close out to just one user and uh, say we want to use some of the more advanced features of SigDigger, which is uh, getting down in here and doing an inspection. We can open up different inspectors. I've talked about this before. Actually, I used uh, the FSK one, I think, to demodulate drone video. But if we were to open that inspector, we're kind of used to uh, having to flip back and forth between the tabs. But a new feature is now being able to detach that into a separate window. So if you have multiple monitors, you could be doing a lot of uh, signal analysis here while they uh, are on independent tabs. There's also, you could do subcarrier inspection. So you could essentially have three tabs open here. We'll detach that one. And so, let's see, how can I get this here? We can see that we've got three separate windows open here all at the same time. Uh, let's see. Let's probably put a, put a, a lot on the pie here, but let's see. Let's see. Now we can see we've got all three of those running at the same time, and this is just one client. This could be done uh, with multiple clients at the same time. All right. I think I've hit pretty much everything. There's so much more that SigDigger can do. I just wanted to show how to uh, take advantage of this multi-client user-based uh, SDR server. All right. Thank you.